G'day guys, Wes from Unsealed. Um, so, soldering irons. We're starting off our 12 volt guide with soldering irons. Everyone should own one, whether it's a 240 volt one, a 12 volt one for your car, or a little gas jigger like I've got that can go in a drawer or in the tool kit in the back of the truck. Um, you should all own one of these. It's very, very simple to use. There are a few little things I'm gonna show you right now on uh, how to use it and how not to use it. Um, but, let's get into it. Right guys, the humble soldering iron. So. We have some solder, we have a little soldering iron holder, and we have my little gas-powered soldering iron. Now, these things are quite useful tools. Don't hold them like this. It is not a pen. You do this, you're going to have a bad time. All right, you want to hold it here at the absolute closest to the tip. Anything, whoop, anything along here that is metal will get very bloody hot. Don't touch it. So, first things first, gas on. Pull the striker down, or the starter, and she's going. If you I don't know if you guys can see that, but in there you've got a nice little red dot. That's the tip glowing, or the element glowing, and it's going toward the tip now. Something worth having as well is a slightly damp sponge. All right, what you want to do with that, besides drip bloody water everywhere, is you can use a slightly damp sponge to clean off your tip so it's nice and clean. Okay, a dirty tip won't hold solder and it won't solder very well either. You don't get much uh, heat connection, heat connectivity. So what you wanna do, as your soldering iron's heating up, this little thing here will sit there. As you put your soldering iron on it, make sure your tip is not touching the metal. If it is, this will heat up. That's bad. All right, because if you touch that, all of a sudden you're burning yourself as well. All right, sitting there like that, and away you go. Um, that's basically a soldering iron. All right, like I said, be careful of the tip, it gets very hot. The solder you want, look, at the end of the day, I'm running one mil solder. This is the sort of stuff, uh, Duratec, it's from Rotec Marine um, and or JCAR, same sort of deal. But that's one mil diameter, um, and it's 6% alloy and 40% lead. All right. Um, it does have a flux core. It's got 2% flux core on the inside of it. So as you touch that to the soldering iron, all right, it will melt off. And what you want to do before you even start is get a bit of solder on your tip, all right, and you are ready to roll. All right, there's really not much else to soldering iron besides that. Um, like I said, keep your tip nice and clean. Try not to use a new one. The wife will shoot you. Or the husband. Um, but yeah, that's our soldering iron. All right. Like I said, be careful. Everything that's metal gets hot. So when you place it in the uh, cradle, place it like that. Most of them come with a cradle like this. Some you get a full big cradle with a coil on it that dissipates the heat. Um, but for what I use in the shed um, is one of these. And funnily enough, when I'm on the road. So like I said, you can get uh, 240 volt ones. You can get 12 volt ones. You don't need the biggest, angriest soldering iron in the world. Don't do what I did when I was 10 years old and go out and buy a 500 watt jobby. It's not going to help you. Um, you'll be able to basically weld sheet metal back together with it. So you want something small and a little more finesse than something that big. All right, so we can go and chase all the little wiring, not the gigantic stuff that we have. But that's it. We'll turn him off. Obviously, gas comes off and sit him there in the holder and the gas will eventually die. A little red light's gone out. Bear in mind that will be hot for quite some time, all right?